Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fish and I hope you had a great Christmas and Happy New Year. I cannot believe we're in 2021. It's just too much. <laughs> 2020 has flown by at least for me. And obviously I know 2020 was not an easy year for everyone. And it's weird because I know everyone hates 2020, but actually 2020 was a pretty good year for me, surprisingly. Obviously not to be like, oh my God, 2020 was the best year and everyone's having a shitty year. I just don't want to offend, I guess, anyone if that's happening to you. I just personally had a pretty good year in, in spite of everything that happened. This channel really took off. I met some amazing, wonderful people this year and I am blessed to be in Western Australia where the pandemic was handled very, very well. But either way, I am very grateful of what this year has brought me and what this year has taught me. So let's look at my 2021 reading slash channel goals. Let's start with reading goals, shall we? So. For 2020, my Goodread goals was 100 books, and I'm glad to say that I have completed, I think, 110, 112. I'm not too sure because there are some secret books here and there that I haven't added to my Goodreads. So for 2021, I actually want to put my Goodreads goal at one book <laughs> because for 2020, I had this kind of unconscious anxiety or just like conscious thoughts of wanting to speed through not speed through just get through more books just so i can get to my goal and i don't like that i just want to cruise through read books that i want to read and see where i get to the end of the year but doing that goal for 2020 kind of assured myself that i can actually read 100 books pat on the back you know i can actually achieve that so that is the plan one book for the Goodreads goal, and I'm gonna read uh, whatever I want and at a pace that I want, just so I don't have pressure to read a certain amount of books per month to get to that goal. And I think some of you know that uh, I'm doing a English degree next year, so I'm definitely gonna be doing some reading for that. So I'm trying to not put too much pressure on my reading because I want this to be a source of happiness and comfort and not pressure. So another goal that I want to achieve in 2021 is mood read. I am very much a mood reader and I don't like set books for my TBR unless like buddy reads, book clubs, and readathons, that kind of thing. I'm trying in 2021 to limit myself with that. I know I can get like trigger happy with buddy reads. So I'm trying to decrease my buddy reads and participate in less readathons. But also speaking of buddy reads, I have something in the works. Just we'll get to that in the channel goal. Another thing to make a priority in 2021 is rereads. I am a person that will reread their favorites over and over again, which I have done before I discovered booktube. So for 2020, I had a lot of urges to reread books, but I didn't because I had that urge to keep reading new books instead of rereading old favorites and that didn't really make me happy so in 2021 I definitely want to allow myself to reread my favorites whenever I want. Damn the consequences. So definitely want to incorporate more to that. I'm definitely rereading The Poison Study in 2021. Definitely going to be reading the Akatar series because the fifth book is coming out in February. Definitely want to reread that. Maybe reread Throne of Glass as well because I love Throne of Glass. I haven't read it since Kingdom of Ash came out. That was a long time ago. So I definitely want to reread it. So those are some of the rereads that I want to do. We'll see what happens with that and see if I add any. Another goal that I had in mind is to chip away at my physical TBR because most of the books that are on my shelves are actually unread and that low-key gives me anxiety. <laughs> so I definitely want to shop my shelves. Shout out to Alicia who is actually doing a year-long readathon of trying to chip away your physical TBR. I'm not participating or any of that but if you would definitely check out her channel and her announcement video of it. She has like two prompts for each month so you can chip away at your physical TBR. It's very, very cool. So definitely check it out if you want to participate. So for the types of books I want to read in 2021. So for 2020, I had a goal of reading more adult fantasy and I definitely 
did that. So for 2021, I want to read more thrillers, horror books, because I'm get, trying to get into the horror genre. Really lacking it at the moment, so I definitely want to read more horror books. I definitely want to read more romance, because thrillers and romance were actually my shit. I love reading thrillers and romance, but obviously last year I wanted to read more adult fantasy. Adult fantasy are thick, chunky, dense books. They took up most of my time, so I didn't get to more thrillers or romance in 2020. So in 2021, I want to get back into it and read more of those. I also want to read more manga because I recently read the Full Metal Alchemist mangas. I haven't completed them yet, definitely completed it in 2021, but I absolutely love that manga and I want to read more manga because of that. So that's essentially my reading goals slash guidelines. <laughs> so. Let's get into channel goals. So I'm not going to do a number kind of thing, but I do want to take the time and say thank you to every single one of you who watches my videos, who subscribes, who comments, who likes, who just interacts with me in any platform. Just encouraging my love of books and interacting with me and gushing about the books we love or hate. I thank you so so much. I never in my wildest dreams would imagine me doing booktube and talking into the void and having people interact with me and talk about books. I seriously, I only found booktube a year ago and <laughs> I am now making videos on booktube talking about books, recommending books, and yeah, it's so so wild so wild. Also, what's wild is there's almost 850 of you that are subscribed. That is extra wild. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for just being you <laughs> and talking to me about books. So now that we're all sappy, <laughs> let's talk about where I want this channel to go, where I, where I want to go with this channel, essentially. So with doing booktube, I've kind of had imposter syndrome. I know Abby talks a lot about this in her video and I definitely get it. I feel an like an imposter. I don't believe that I'm a booktuber, but I am. <laughs> and it's, it's weird. So what I kind of want to do is focus on you guys and building a community of my own. So what I want to do is, I guess suggest if you guys are interested, is kind of do a channel buddy read. I give you options, obviously, and we pick a book a month to read. And I can do a Voxer like group chat just cause so we can actually like voice message each other. I think that'll be really cool. Or do a live show or both. We can do both or either or. And for the book picks, I know at least for me, I would love to continue series. So let's say if we do pick a book that is a first book in the series, I would love if we can continue that series because I know all of us would love to continue series and complete them instead of just letting them be in the void. And it's not just going to be fantasy books. I'm going to insert like thrillers, horror, romance into the mix and see what we can read for the month. So let me know what you guys think. I would love to do a channel buddy read. I know there, I literally just said that I don't want to do a lot of buddy reads, but like I said, I just want more interaction with you guys. And I feel like this is the best way to do it. If obviously, if it's like a shitty idea, I will kind of gather my thoughts and think about what else I can do that includes you guys. Speaking of that, I am going to be scrapping bet on my TBR. For bet on my TBR, I pick a winner and they pick a book for me to read. So to minimize, like I said, of like must reads on my TBR, I'm trying to replace that instead. So I'm going to scrap bet on my TBR and put this channel buddy read in place of that because I created bet on my TBR so it can be more interactive between me and you. So I definitely want Again, more interaction with you guys. So scrapping back my TBR and introducing channel buddy reads. So let me know if you guys are interested. Leave them in the comments down below. And if the feedback's positive, I will do a little announcement. And I will also post an individual video showing you the choices for the month. And all of you guys will just comment and choose it just because I haven't reached 1K yet. So I don't have the community tab where you can vote on things. So that is how the process is gonna go essentially and I'm very excited. 
So we'll see what you guys say. Another channel goal, which is kind of like the main goal that I want to do is consistency. Like consistency is not a word we use on this channel, but I really want to work towards it. So my goal for that is to post twice a week. And also you may have noticed that I don't do weekly updates anymore. I'm also scrapping that idea just because I'm limiting myself to two videos a week and I want more, I guess, space to do other videos instead of limiting one space for the weekly update and then one video where I can do whatever I want. So I want both of those spaces so I can do different videos. But I will be introducing uh, like mid-month wrap-up and TBR updates. I am going to do them. Hopefully I go through with it. Like I said, I'm trying to work towards consistency, so don't take my word for it for now. <laughs> but I'm going to try my absolute best just because uni is going to be starting at the end of February, beginning of March. So I'm going to try my very, very best to be consistent. Also, I forgot to mention that I got a new ring light, as you can see through my glare. So for me, I love doing reading vlogs and that will still be going on on this channel because I have done a few reading vlogs now and you guys seem to be giving very good positive feedback. I love doing reading vlogs just because I get my real-time emotions and you guys can see that because I wear my emotions on my face. <laughs> so I love doing reading vlogs and see like the process of how it goes towards the end. And the recent one that I just did, you guys absolutely love, which is my Poppy War reading vlog. So I'll leave it up above and down below for you to check out. So that's still going to be continuing throughout the year like other reading vlogs that I want to do, themed reading vlogs, dedicated reading vlogs, just all the reading vlogs. So be excited and look out for that. So the last thing that I want to try and do is live reading sprints. I love reading sprints. It's just the thing that I have to think about is time zones because where I am obviously is a different time zone to the UK and the US, which is like the main ones that I'm focusing on. And with that, comes with great difficulty. So I'm trying to see when I can organize a live reading sprint with other booktubers or just by myself, I guess. I don't mind doing it by myself. I just have to figure out the time zone issue. But yeah, definitely want to do more live reading sprints. I love to do that. I love reading with people because reading alone sucks sometimes, you know? Sometimes you just want to read with people. So those are all the goals that I have for my reading and for my channel. So definitely let me know what you think about the channel buddy read that I want to try so leave your suggestions and your feedback down below if you would participate and if so would you want a voxel group or live show or both so let me know again i am so grateful for it. all of you and all the people that i've met especially shell space i will link the discord down below if you haven't joined us join us <laughs> let me know what your goals are for 2021 it just personal goals or reading goals just let me know i would love to know if any of our goals align like this video if you liked it subscribed if you haven't and thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye